Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Merry Christmas time for the baby. We can play an Elvis song, right? Oh yeah. The estate of Elvis, not litigious at That's all. That's clean we, enough. We can we can just play that for free. He never I did believe. anything horrible, right? He doesn't have any bathroom tapes. I mean, he never mud sharked a woman <laughs> like Jimmy Page. Yeah. I think he did other things. He was Elvis. You, oh, if you're I know. Elvis Presley, yeah. you get bored with vaginal and oral mm-hmm. at some point. I, you, you just had it all. And like hot southern women. Yeah, peanut butter banana sandwiches between yeah. the cheeks and... You know, you're not, yeah. you're not like, look, I get it. Led Zeppelin, Hendrix, all of them. They had women, but they were dirty hippie you broads. Know that, they I, were dirty hippie broads. You know, it's getting weird. It was getting weird, but it was also smelly and hairy. It yeah. reeked of patchouli. Yeah. It was bad. Like, <sighs> it's not like you could go back to those days and we would have been cool with it. Like, yeah, there were orgies at Woodstock, the but they were pouch. gross orgies. Ugh. They were like real sex orgies. <laughs> no one wants that. No. Elvis had like clean cut Southern women who oh. were like, you know, just uh, sure they were closed minded bigots. Yeah. I guess like they probably were like really gross segregation. But. You think he would just show him his karate moves just naked? He was like, does this get you turned on, baby? I, he, do you really? He didn't have to do anything. He was Elvis. He didn't have to turn anybody. Else. All he had to sure. do is like walk out of the. But John I bet he did karate moves. Wearing nothing but his like WWE belt, <laughs> and they would have done whatever. And a lobster bib. <laughs> no, they wore the bib. I don't know why. So they didn't muss up their house. <laughs> why not? All right, we'll bring it down. I I listen. By the way. It's Papa's Basement. I'm John Papa Giorgio. He is Pete Maybe. He shows Hello. website in papasbasement.com. Go there for every episode we've ever done. Uh, I'm at Papa's Basement on Twitter, and you are what? At, at Pete Maybe. Pete Maybe. Yeah. These are all pretty simple things. Uh, they are. They are. Simple, simple things for simple people. Simple joys. Simple tastes for simple minds. Things mm-hmm. like that. Uh, yeah, that's that was, <laughs> was it Elvis with uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. I like Was that. I, I listened. I bought that album last year, the very first Elvis Christmas album. Uh, it was like on iTunes. You for, bought that last year? I bought it last year and I tried to, like, I wanted to get in on the, the seasonal feel. Mm-hmm. Like, so I bought it a year ago, right around, you know, December 10th or some crap. And I played yeah. the hell out of the album. I just played it into the ground and then I deleted it in January and then I re downloaded it this December. Are you a seasonal guy? I'm trying to be because I have no soul. So you watch all the Christmas movies and stuff like that? Uh, no, I don't do any of that. Okay, good. I This is the one thing I kind of indulge in. Like I, I don't used really to have be, a taste for them either. I used to be a seasonal guy until I got busted shoplifting at Christmas, much <laughs> like Bart Simpson. I was stealing magic cards. with Bone a storm? Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, with Thrill Ho. <laughs> no, actually... Uh, Bone Storm or Die. I uh, I was stealing a bunch of magic cards and really yeah and I couldn't make a break for it because I was there with my buddy whose mom were, was were a, they rares or were they boosters and you were just they were packs of fallen empires maybe the most worthless magic set ever created so the joke was on come me. on everybody knows that yeah and uh, that incident translated to young John young metalhead <laughs> John getting a haircut really yeah much like a, a Nazi POW they how much shaved trouble off did you- my locks. Was, where was this and how much trouble did you get into? It was at the old K&K Toys in Fair Oaks Mall. K&K I really don't think exists. I mean, KB Toys, I'm pretty sure, is pushing yep. up daisies. And yeah, that K&K was K and K Toys I don't know. was the garbage of KB Toys. Ooh. So leftover junk. I really doubt it's drawing breath anymore. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, in terms of trouble, it got me in decent amount. I managed to, even back then, silver tongue my way out of any real legal action it was nice. just on the books until i was 18 as a quote-unquote police consultation they were like his look at him his father's probably a lawyer uh yeah well and then my my dad walked in i i got a jew joke that took me way too long <laughs> god that took an embarrassing amount of time they might have thought that and my then my swarthy mm-hmm. obviously blue collar dad strutted <laughs> in they're like ah we could have hit this little bastard with the book yeah oh my good lord but yeah he was just very uh not happy and I got my hair cut, kind of like uh, G.I. Jane or Ripley in Alien 3, take nice. your pick. And there went my uh, my Jason Newstead locks. 
<laughs> for the rest of time. I really never had long hair again after that. So Christmas from that point onward was dead in my heart, but I've tried I've tried to make it a thing. And uh before we go down the Christmas path anymore. Okay. I just this is a complete aside. And people are like, "Why?" Anyone who's listening to the show is like, I "What? A non sequitur <laughs> on the Papa's basement show that Bastion <laughs> as the French would pronounce it, of uh, organizational Bastion. skills and just just a checklist, a bullet point mm-hmm. list of a show. Uh, there's a great news story. Oh, we hit them all. A feel gooder of LeBron James taking the time to greet a Celtics fan with special needs. I'm not sure if you've seen this video yet. I know you hate sports, much like the woman you are. <laughs> I don't hate sports. Shut up. Okay. Shut, stop trying to butch yeah, it up. It sucks. Name name three teams right now. Uh, the, the That's the Suns right. and the. The, Springfield the, isotopes. The bullets. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. So he goes over and greets this fan who's, you know, special needs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not going to say anything else to, to shock jock it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, he goes over and he, like, strokes this kid's hair for, like, two minutes or two seconds. Okay. And then he just, Yeah, like, that's an awful long time. Yeah, for two minutes. That's, that's been great. weird. You're like, who's special now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> soft. Uh, two, he crushed him. About two, three seconds. <laughs> So many rabbits. Uh, <laughs> two, three seconds. And then he just jets right off. And everyone's like, this is the greatest gesture ever. And I'm not saying it's bad. It's it was nice. really nice. He sprinted over totally and touches nice. this kid. Yeah. But I wanted more. Like, I wanted him to hold him up like the Rafiki did with the Lion King. Like, That'd that awesome. would have been a moment. I'm He's sure LeBron. would have liked it, too. He's LeBron. This kid's just a little little wisp of a thing. Mm-hmm. That would have been great. Hey! Bye-bye. Sorry. Anytime you uh, you have to do you that. Anytime Rafiki? the Lion King is mentioned by law. So we can go back to the Christmas talk, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right. All right. So I, um, now that you've gotten your, your interruption out. I know. That was a fantastic non Now that you commandeered the show. Okay. Go oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, so you're an Elvis Presley fan? My girlfriend's an Elvis Presley fan. Uh, yeah. if this is your Sorry, weird clogged, way guys. to tell me that you're in an open relationship and you want to swing that way, I'm sorry. You guys want to be music I am saving buddies. myself for God. <laughs> but, uh, no, I got into Elvis via really Rob A of the Don and Mike show. Mm-hmm. That's something no one will understand unless they're in D.C. Nope. Uh, you know, just our local funny guys back in the, the 90s and the early 2000s. But they were all obsessed with Elvis. And it was really ragging on Elvis and all the excesses. In fact, every Christmas, it's funny you mention that, they would tell the story of Hamburger James. What is that? It was a seasonal story. I need to know. Hamburger James was one of Elvis's assistants. <laughs> and one day... Oh, this is like a dude. I thought this was like a story. No, okay. no. It was... <laughs> Hamburger James! They would always... <laughs> okay. They would tell it in character. Mike would. It's Char- <laughs> Charlie Stuang Stablack, I believe, was the character's <laughs> name. And he was special needs, Don. <laughs> <laughs> and he would laugh like that, and that was his voice. And uh, <laughs> so Hamburger James one day uh, breaks into Elvis's secret vault in his bedroom and steals, if I recall, like a wad of cash, nude Polaroids of Priscilla Presley, and a bunch of pills. Nice. And they he gets on a plane trying to flee, and Elvis busted out. They, Karate they, chops the plane down? Well, they realize what's going on, and Elvis and the rest of the Memphis Mafia sprint over to memphis airport yeah and uh they get on the plane and he goes stop i'm a federal agent and he brandishes the dea badge and that actually gets him on the plane where he confronts hamburger james and smacks him around and then starts crying when james starts crying what he's like oh man why don't why don't you just tell me you need money (laughs) and uh that's good by the way i I got my moments (laughs) and at that point they reconcile and it's a christmas miracle what the hell this is a real story the story of Hamburger James. This is a hundred percent real story. Holy crap! I would watch that movie so much. And I got the news back of Scylla, man. You know that they, they just made like an Elvis Presley movie. Or it's gonna come out on Netflix or something like that. I they've made lots of them. There's a new one. There's a new one. I it's know there's, got um, there's one with Kurt Russell, Michael as Elvis. Shannon as Elvis Presley. General the weirdest, Zod. Weirdest effing Elvis Presley you've ever seen in your life. I and love Michael Shannon. He's, and he's going to meet uh, Nixon. Oh, because he really wants to meet Nixon. Because he's like, people don't respect you, and I'm gonna make him respect you. That was yeah, really over the hill Elvis, fat, bloated, Mm -hmm. gut full of pills, 
and that great photo of him shaking Nixon's hand. And it's a story about the how they met. Office. I'm I'm down with that. It's it's all right, but I would really honestly get that hamburger chain story. Just Google hamburger jam. It's a legit real that story. That sounds so much better. That if you want to read the best, the most compelling book you will ever read, mm-hmm. Elvis and the Memphis Mafia, something like 850 pages of the three guys. So I want to say like some of the three guys closest to him during like all the good years. Uh huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I read that like the Bible. Like I just take it off the shelf and I'm like. <laughs> Page 426, and then I get to it, and it's, you know, whatever the hell Elvis was doing that day. It's probably awesome. It beats the hell out of anything. There's, like, the innocent young Elvis Mm -hmm. when he's, like, just getting an amusement park for the weekend (laughs) for his friends. Yeah. There's, like, drugged up later Elvis when he's throwing flash bulbs into his pool and then shooting them with a BB gun with his buddies to make them, like, pop off. That. Uh, everything awesome. in between yeah but that was the big Don and Mike thing up. the hamburger James story and you might get another like uh, random Elvis story in the mix or two but yeah. it really is hamburger James uh, in addition mm-hmm. to the Christmas stuff we have I think did I say this yet it's the last show before Star Wars I think you may have the mentioned Force it like, right Awakens. at the uh, opening we're recording yeah. this we could say that like a thousand times it's awesome Wednesday and mm-hmm. Star Wars kicks in Friday. So we're going to do a Star Wars segment. Just want to put that out there. We had our little... Like people didn't see that coming. Yeah, we have to. Come on. I mean, like, I'm not even that much into Star Wars, and we'll get to that. But, like, given my weight percentile, plus the beard and glasses, mm-hmm. like, by law, I have to You're mention on You're related to J.J. Abrams. Uh, no, stop making all the Jew jokes. Up. I'm not saying that. That's You're what just... you said by law. No, I'm saying by law, beyond a certain weight, I have to talk Star Wars. Oh. Like, I can't just be like, no, I'm really into sports. and A certain eating. weight? Well, yeah, they, they would know the jig is up. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to fly. At a certain LB percentile, I'm on the, the thin side of the bell curve, but on the fat side. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like thin, thin, thin. And then the mass of America, and then I'm on the, uh, the other edge, the fat edge. Yeah, it's not bad. We're all going to get there someday. I'm, I'm the new normal, baby. I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm the new normal. <laughs> yeah. So That's we're fun. going to do that. But back to Christmas. Yeah. Back to Christmas. It's Again, it's just going to be Christmas. It's going to be The the Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to talk about that gross Showtime show. But right now it's Ugh. the Christmas segment. And you know the best part yeah. of Christmas? Gifts. Like, gifts coming my way. Mm-hmm. And the best kind of gift is the gift that I don't have to buy anything back. I don't have to give them crap. This is what they're getting. And the, yeah, this is the show. This is the exactly the. They gift understand how it of works. The show. That's what I'm tiptoeing around. The best gifts I get every year are when listeners send like gifts, you guys, especially at sarcasmic ninety two. Yes, she. Everybody should follow her. She dropped, yeah, at Sarcasmic92. Oh, her main picture is just like her, her tease. <laughs> it's great. I it mean, is. That, that says, why do you think I got in touch with the, <laughs> the lady? Um, she sent three packages for the show. For you, for me, mm-hmm. and for Butters. And Butters isn't here today, so we'll be opening. And We're going to open hers, her I guess. Yeah. Because that's the law of the jungle, bitch. Mm-hmm. And then we get You're to. going to die. Spread it equally among each other. So, yeah, and I was hitting up Sarcasmic. I'm like, hey, that is awesome. You sent us this crap. What do I have to get you in return? Because that's how I, I'm like, it's gifts politics. I'm just like, All right, what, what do, do I, I have, have to, to send do? you? Yeah, so that I'm not the prong in this situation. Yeah. Like, and that's that's part of Christmas I don't that's like. That's why most like, people. You got a tit for tat it. That's why most people are like, don't get me anything. Well, my, I don't want to get you you something i kind of take it to an insane degree but yeah i'm my it's brother literally what they're saying my brother just does this every year where he's like i'm an adult i buy whatever the hell i want don't buy me things i won't buy you things mm-hmm. and so lately as a family we've just kind of taken like going out to a big dinner where that's he and i just cool. like throw some bills down yeah we're yeah, like oh cool. we, mommy you got a free dinner will i paid for yours and uh you paid for mine and we're all done but awesome uh, sarcasmic mm-hmm. at sarcasmic 92 says you give me the gift of the show. 
And as soon as I heard that, that I thought touching. to myself, she's right. Anyone that listens to this show, A, should send gifts, and B, should expect is nothing in return because they've gotten the gift for exactly. 12 months a year, 365 days. And we do this a lot, folks. We do. We More do than your average podcast, week. that's for sure. Yeah, and we've been around forever. Like we we have gone to a point where it's like the average podcast either made it or they quit, <laughs> and somehow we've done neither. <laughs> but the thing is, we found that Twilight Zone. In these seven years, you mm-hmm. get a listener or two that wants to send you gifts. Brenda, Bren, Which by is the awesome. way, where are my C's candies? Where is our candy? Well, not ours. I have a toothache. Mine. It's kind of like a ritual every year where I just eat the candy on when air. When am I going to eat John? Watch candy until he's exactly. done, and then I can have the rest. You said eat John, watch candy. I think. <laughs> No, I don't think so. You didn't? Okay. John right. Candy. Maybe I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I don't Without know. further ado, I want to open my gift on air. There's also okay. a card we could read, but I don't know if she's like included like Yeah, if it's like hustler. super personal about Oh, like, yeah, well, that too. I was going to say like, yeah, an old beaver of the month. Where you should go and when you should meet. Polaroid. That would be bad. <laughs> Much like the Scylla nudes. And I might just say- I told you, man. Polaroids, they just add a beaver. There's cat wrapping paper. So she knows the score. She knows what's good. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. Open your gift too, man. Same time? Yeah, same time. All right. Well, yeah, same time. Mine's right. My, I think mine's Okay, I'm opening it up. There's Tupperware. It's full of food. I like Tupperware, though. I'm getting Sorry if it. I sound a little hoarse, guys. Oh, it's not full of food. It's full of shirts. Woo-hoo. Hey, look. There's uh, It's Christmas <clears throat> shirts. This is awesome. The gift from Walmart. You guys can see this on the Periscope. This is... Did you get food? Oh, you got a Santa I got a beer. giant lolly. Sorry, it's a lollipop. Uh I know this is the most that compelling up radio you've ever heard. I'm going to oh, yeah. see what the story what is, this? is with the shirt. You think I'm supposed to wear it? Oh, look. It's got cat faces. Oh, wait. Like the three wolves. That's Howling awesome. At the moon, but it's three Damn Santa it, cats. That's awesome. I love that. All right. Hold on. I got that one. I'm going to open that later. I'm going to stick my tongue in it. You guys are so confused. Yeah. <laughs> he pointed at my buttocks as he said that. That's what made it even worse. <laughs> and there's a gray shirt, but I'm guessing there's a design on the front of this, too. And it says Washington Redskins. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Oh, my. Holy Sarcasmic. Crap. You are the tease. You are the Look bee's tease. I got a hangover beard. A hangover beard because you can't from... grow facial hair like a real man? It's true. Damn it. That's so you... probably exactly what it is. So you can put it on and fit it. I didn't in put two and the, two uh, together. The Star Wars nerds. I was so happy until then. No. She got <laughs> no, it for you because you're like a Native American slash pumpkin boy. Hold on. Let me take my. Headset off, and then I'm going to wear it for the rest That's of the show. Hangover. That's like a Duck Dynasty beard. Are you sure you don't want to put that on and then shoot up a Planned Parenthood? No. I'm sure I don't want to do that. I think if you wear that beard long enough, Need it'll in the seep into your head, and you'll do it. <laughs> no. Sarcasmic, you are the best. I will yeah, look at the card awesome. later. And then I also got a movie. What? The Sure Thing, which I believe... Yes. Is we, that like Blame It on Rio where Demi Moore shows her really, really ungroomed? We had you know talked what? about that before. And okay. yeah, she was like, you should watch it. The Sure Thing. Yeah. Who stars John in The Cusack. Sure Thing? John Cusack. And there's a woman in a bikini on Daphne the cover. Daphne Zuniga. That lady didn't go anywhere. Well, she was in Spaceballs. Daphne Zuniga? Yeah, I don't think anything after that really happened. Who was happened. she? Was she the... Oh my. I just eaten these hairs. The princess. <laughs> oh, that sounds. Again, yeah, I've watch done it Blame before. It yeah, this is a clean show. But yeah, get us more gifts, everyone. Sarcasmic yeah. set oh, the bar awesome. real high. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you'll you'll fall short of this, but that doesn't mean don't try. Thank you, Sarcasmic. Try really hard, actually. Please try to beat that. Yeah. If Dare you send us like I don't know, man, like a couple doubloons or something. Dare you? Like a go treasure and... chest. Yeah. Go exactly. Like you could full s- of uh, actual money. vintage porn. That'd be cool too. That'd be kind of cool. And then we just have like a creepy show where you and I, I don't bust even out like a reel to reel, printed out from the internet. I, one of these days, we're gonna have to buy a reel to reel and just watch Do some eight mil. My dad's old Swedish erotica films. Yeah, is is that a true thing? Do you actually have that? I have a metal container. No it, way. It's in the garage, and it, the garage always had this unique smell to it, so I associated that smell with, like, sex, because as a kid, <laughs> just sneak off and, like, look at these boxes, and, you know, three minutes it's later, like paint thinner leave the area. Gives you a boner. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> it's like paint thinner and mothballs <laughs> and just musty old eight millimeter film. 
but I have these uh, these reel to reels of the the great John Holmes. No and, shit. Oh please, please! Why did you have to vulgar it? We're we're just trying to talk innocently <laughs> about I'm John sorry. Holmes having sex on a Swedish erotica reel to reel, and you had to dirty it up like that. Nuts to you, sir. Guy's a legend. It was John Holmes, his black counterpart, John Keys, and then there was Aunt Peg. And those were the <laughs> three that I remember. And it was really confusing as a kid because, one, I thought someday mine would grow to be that big. But, two, uh, they, would re- they would call John Holmes by, like, three different names in one film. Really? Yeah. They Did would he be play like- different characters? It wasn't even the character name, though. They tried to lie like he was a different actor. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's John Holmes. For God's sake, no you, one else is no that confusing. large. Like, if it was as stupid as, like, trying to put Yao Ming on three different rosters yeah. and being like, oh, this is a chop suey. It's goddamn Yao yeah. Ming. How many Chinese dudes that are, like, 8 foot 13 are there? This is short round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they it's duped no one. No one. And that, yeah, it would be, be like, oh, this is Stephen Strong. I'm like, he's got the same hair and mustache. He's not yeah. even a wig, for God's sake. Yeah, nobody's packing that. Oh, God. That's so ridiculous. So stupid. Like, even as a kid. They thought we were stupid. Even as a kid with a rager. And the thing was, is they tried the to, they really tried to make those into, like, cinematic features. You, I mean, they re- well, they at least tried to get like a story around them. It up, wasn't. Shut up! You watch. You watched Boogie Nights two times, and you're just quoting Boogie oh, Nights. Oh please, to me. no! <laughs> just watched watch a lot of vintage. It's a real film. It's a real film, Jack. It's a real film. That's how you get them in there. All right, you want to. You you're wanna, gonna be a movie star. <laughs> you want to do Star Wars? You want to do Star Wars? Yeah. This is do where Star if, Wars. This is where if we had a board up, we would have the John Holmes got his start. The Star Wars music. Queued up. You wanna I don't know, you wanna you're just singing girl, you'll be a woman soon. That's not Star Wars. I actually don't know that either. I was gonna I would sing it this voice right now. <laughs> I'm now singing all three John Williams songs sound alike. It's just him humming. There's da 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 and then you have Da 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 da. Same song, mm-hmm. and then uh, what's Star Wars? Hold on, this is the embarrassing. Did he do Superman? Yeah, he did Superman and Indiana Jones. Literally the same song. Dun, da, 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 da. <laughs> this is our Star Wars segment music. Really, really outside the box with our thought on this one. Yeah. Aren't we? Who would have guessed? Who to thunk? Do 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 do. Who do thought do. My do every the song segment. is the same, and you all kiss my ass and act <laughs> like I'm the new Mozart, but I'm not. Because I make one song. It is just one song. Enjoy my wonton. <laughs> All right, the hell with this. Enjoy my wonton? Now, <laughs> okay. That would be John Wilrums. Williams. <laughs> Thank you. And the show won't be on next week or any other week after this. <laughs> uh, Pete? Yeah, did we, we only did 15 seconds, right? Pete? Uh, no, I meant more for the did racial we- joke. <laughs> That that <laughs> thing that I did. Not so much the copyright law. No. And yes, we did it for 14.8 seconds, so lawyers don't bother timing it. I just told you how long we used it. <laughs> Fair usage or something like that. Yeah. Fair usage uh, laws. Uh, Pete. I should know that. You were raised, correct me if I'm wrong, but with your parents, Methodist. they raised you in a strict, loveless household. I really... <laughs> yeah. I imagine you grew up in, like, a house not unlike Carrie. One bowl of porridge a day. It was like Carrie's mom, but also if the dad stuck around, and he was also on board with Carrie's mom's agenda, mm-hmm. shall we say. And uh, you What know, was her agenda? She just hated everybody, right? Like, she was very religious, and yeah. then one time, like, you went to school and started menstruating. And she oh, really yeah. got on your case that. about yeah. that. Yeah. After all the girls threw the tampons at you. So was Star Wars <laughs> I never even allowed in your household or was it considered yes, some sort me? of like sorcery? You're putting me out to be some sort of like weirdo. Well, yeah, I kind of <coughs> like I think <clears throat> you grew up in a place where if you called oh, my dad's Santa, an, my dad's... they beat you because they're like, it's St. Nicholas. <laughs> it's not true. Get it right. I would play along with that. Secular pig. But no, uh, actually, my dad's like a big nerd. He's a big Star Trek nerd. 
Not a star, not a huge Star Wars fan, but he's a super nerd. Um, so it was pretty. It was pretty big in the house. I mean, when Episode One was coming out, before anybody knew how not so awesome it was going to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was like, "We have to go see that." I don't think you understand. Was that the what only time he showed you love? Um, that was one of the times. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a list of all three? Yeah, I mean, like when I would win a win a swim meet. Okay. Yeah, you know, that was a pretty good one. Uh, if I got like first chair, I picture him just screaming trum- at you, playing trumpet. Okay, so if you brought uh, honor to the family name, mm-hmm. and what happened that if you a- failed him? Were you berated? Nothing. Were you forced to just stand until you like peed Nothing. all over your your little? I just didn't exist. Feet? Just didn't that was exist. It. Just really? didn't exist. So like he would just pull off, and you just had to like. I'd be like, you right, had to walk home. Peace. Wow, I didn't really care. Cause like you would, it wasn't really you like would that, chase <laughs> after him, and he was like, "Losers don't ride in this car." And then he'd slam the door. And yeah. Jet. Okay. All right. It's all coming together now. I think he did leave me somewhere. <laughs> Come to think of it, oh now you're opening up some dark places. I think we've got somewhere. No, there was that one time. Did leave me at that Chinese restaurant. You were at the soccer field, and it was raining. I never played soccer. And uh, your <laughs> friend Millhouse. <laughs> Started writing on the wall. Was it Treb Puke Sib? Treb Puke Sib. And then his dad was like, what did I tell you about writing on the walls? But <laughs> if you saw in the mirror, it said, pick up Pete, maybe. <laughs> and then he eventually got you, but it was too late. And then you got that big brother <laughs> who sounded a lot like Phil Hartman. Back to the story. A lot like him. And they're making a biopic. It's going to be cool. Oh, really? Yeah. I hope it's just 97 minutes of Caveman Lawyer. There, I said it. <laughs> My heart's my deepest favorite. desires are out on the table. <coughs> okay, so your dad pretended I, to love you for Star Wars. Yeah, most of the time. And uh, it was did pretend. you did you like grow up watching the the VHS films with him? Or, or actually, I went over to a friend's house. Um, this friend had all the films. Her, um, sorry, his mother used to go to all the uh, video rental places, and she mm-hmm. would do the old uh, VCR to VCR trick. Oh, and okay. she would record nonstop, and I mean to the point where her entire living room was wall to wall. Yeah, with and they, and they watched four of those tapes. But here was the deal: then she started renting them out to the neighborhood. That is the most ghetto thing. Yeah, I've ever. And heard. so that's where I saw a lot of those. Like that's where I saw the first like Ewoks. Like first Ewoks, what? Like, like you saw literal Ewoks in the house. Okay. It was like the Ewok special, and then uh, there was like the the cartoon Ewoks and stuff like that. I remember there was they like got like really Ewok like movie, kind right? of different stuff. Yeah, there's the Ewok movie. Okay, um, do you remember anything from it? Because I have one depressing memory of that entire film. The kid had like a wristband, like Predator to... did at the end, where he was initiating the self destruct sequence, mm-hmm. and didn't the like the wristband show like when his family members died oh i don't remember and then he was I, just, I don't remember at all he kind of looked at it and he went dead. too much between all dead not that part i made that up oh, but i thought I like, he looked at the I wristband like and it was like happened. all of my family's dusted by the empire i totally believe and then he just went and partied with ewoks for 90 minutes <laughs> i know so little about that film it could have been a girl was it, it a girl i have no clue but I win. You're not really working as my counterpoint How on not I being a that? Star Wars yes, fan. Yes, John, and it was no. I mean, just lie. Yeah, just I'm a lie. Star Wars fan, just like everybody else. I'm not an Uber fan. Okay. See, I wanted you now. If I'm you more wanted, of a comic book guy. You should just walk in here and be like, I know it inside and out. Do you want to know something? You're blonde kids. Watch me go. Watch me go here. Oh. Ask me about the girl. She was a girl. She was a girl that went with the Ewoks, and you want to have your mind blown out of your ass? Yeah. What was it? It was a young Jennifer Lawrence. No, that was her wasn't. first role. Oh my god! Yeah, all right. Kentucky Disney. Belle. Mm-hmm. What a okay. sweet angel. Because I wanted to go out there and I wanted to be the Maverick. Where I'm. I wasn't going to lie to you. <laughs> there are people that would kill over Star Wars. They might listen to the show. Well, I was going to do a big riff on that. Like, <laughs> uh, they're insane. Well, some of them. We love you guys. I have a bet. Mm-hmm. Remember a couple weeks ago. Where you took ten dollars from me by gambling one you took stole my father was proud wasn't able to feed my cats that week mm-hmm. by me betting that there would be some violence on Black Friday someone would die 
<laughs> and I lost the Are bet. Are we doing this? Do you want to double or nothing? I absolutely want to double or nothing. No, you don't. Not before I say it. What is it? Do you want to double or nothing that there's going to be some sort of shooting at oh, one of the geez. Star Wars screens? <laughs> I, I mean, this I is thought all I, can I think about. This I thought we were gonna make some public nerd fight. I would say yes no, to no, public no. nerd fight. No, no, I'm I'm saying it right now. In the next two weeks, given the trajectory of this country, <laughs> in the next two weeks, there is going to be a theater shooting. Better not be at mine. one of the Star Wars screenings. Is that all you can think about? Really? No, I'm just Dude, saying. Jesus oh Christ. come on, you're the one who brought it up. Jesus, I brought it up oh, like please. because I'm sad oh, for where please. the country's going. And I am too. All I don't think, think it'll happen, John. It's not mine. I don't think it'll happen. I hope it doesn't happen in any. That's what I hope for. D- not same, in mine. John. Same. Not in mine. Talk about the dark side of the oh, force. Good lord, you are scum. <laughs> hive, hive you of jerk. scum and villainy. That's your house. Mm-hmm. That's your house. Scum and villainy reside there. Is that why you don't come over? At 123 Pete Maybe Avenue. <laughs> Intersection of Boogaloo. Selfish Lane. No, what I was trying to say, I too, I guess, I guess you're somewhat into Star Wars. I really am not. <laughs> I really, like, I watched about three, I've seen each one two or three times. Okay. Which ain't nothing. Don't get me wrong. This ain't nothing. You saw them. Yeah, my mom. or I no, know my, people who haven't seen them. My grandma. No, it was my mom. Someone bought me those tapes. This is how much gifts mean to me. Someone bought me those tapes a Christmas ago. When when was the three pack in those black boxes that every kid got that Christmas? Whenever that when? came out. It was oh, like 90, 96, uh, 96, 95. In that 96. Race. Came with the McDonald's cups. See how you lied well? You lied convincingly. Mm-hmm. You just said 96. I'm like, yeah, it was 96. Yeah. So McDonald's was running Maybe that I campaign. Maybe I say yes. And then the girl walked away. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I watched it. I got those VHSs. I did like two, three viewings at each. I was never on fire for it. When I was a kid, I uh, I wasn't raised in the loveless, really strict religious household uh-huh. that you were, you know, where it's just uh, winners, winners only mentality. <laughs> And if not, you just starve. That's basically it. Is that why you're so petite and never grew facial hair? <laughs> yeah. You only ate if you wanted. <laughs> was malnourished. So I I had just the the kind of driven parents and the also the the immigrant parents, especially my dad was fresh off the boat and he looked like Castro. He was a I he feel was like a that's got to be he's he's got to be a driving force, right? Had to live under that same tyranny. I he was just so tired from work that <laughs> like my just... mom, my mom was the motivated one. That wanted me to do well in school. I think my dad was just motivated to smack me if I didn't do what my mom said I had. <laughs> yeah. So it was like I would he would walk in after like Mine was vice twelve versa. hours of work, and she had the gall to immediately just be like, ah, "John didn't do his math drills," <laughs> and so it was like in math drill. All right, like I gotta menace the boy for five minutes, and then I can go off to the bedroom and read for like an hour in peace <laughs> before I fall asleep. And work again for 12 or 13 mm-hmm. hours and then come home to just getting screamed at over <laughs> BS. But that sounds he familiar. didn't. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of time for Star Wars in this man's life. He didn't. Uh, I, it was weird is actually he came to the country like right when it must have been huge. Yeah. When when I, I don't know he, the backstory. He came when in was like it? 74. So like three mm-hmm. years later, you got new hope. But not but a bad time. Yeah. He just, yeah, he he didn't care. Like he lived a real he had a life. Great time for movies. He lived a real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when I was a kid, he would just tell me about. He was a sailor for 20 years. Like he would just tell me like what it was like to bang every nationality of chick. Yeah. And then like getting stabbed in just an Egyptian knife fight and stuff like that. He'd just be like, "This oh. is over in Greece." He, well, he's in every port, so he'd tell me about like yeah. his old Israeli girlfriend. And, you know, then you would be really like, I've bad. never been with a German woman that didn't like it rough in bed and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I don't know what that means, but it sounds like my dad's awesome. Yeah. And uh, my point was he he didn't care about dumb fairy tales on the movie screen. Like maybe yeah. you watched it once. He's like, OK, that didn't suck. But it wasn't like when it came out on VHS, especially like the first pressing, like it was a big to do at all. Ooh. I had an aunt, like one of those people that was just close to your family. An aunt? An aunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tomato, tom- or tomato, tomato. There we go. <laughs> that was the joke that wasn't even worth getting to I that I was going for. I don't know what that's from. So I remember I had an 
aunt, aunt, mm-hmm. that was one of those people, isn't this weird to you where they're just like kind of close friends of the family, but they're not blood aunts or uncles at all, but oh. they're just like close. And, yeah. So it was one side of those piece. deals. Yeah. Side piece. Aunt. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Aunt Jenny, I had like two or three of those. No, it was Aunt Mary Jane. There we go. No one cares. <laughs> and she came over and she was like, kids, I brought Empire Strikes Back. And like my brother and I just stare at her blankly. And she's like, do you not know about Star Wars? And I was like, kind of like I saw like 15 minutes yeah. of the original. I'm like eight. I'm like, and you're like, sure. Yeah. Like we don't really play that crap in this house, but sure. Because I- honestly, at eight, without the influence of an adult, you're probably not going to get that excited about it. No, I you're did. not going to follow the storyline. I a whole saw lot. it. It didn't light me ablaze. I don't know. Yeah. Like I will remember some X-Wing stuff. You're like, this is cool. Yeah, it never resonated with me, though. I never wanted to watch it obsessively. I Where's watched He-Man? cartoons like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like He-Man, uh, Transformers, G.I. Joe, all the classics that were penned by Leonardo da Vinci, mm-hmm. along Puppy with pals. that sketch of the guy with his arms out. Yeah. Um, Didn't care for, like, movie movies, man. I don't know why. Just I still prefer cartoons. And she tried to hype me up for it, too. She was like... I this make- thing has these giant AT walkers or at ats, whatever they're mm-hmm. called. AT-AT. And they're so big that the the plane, the A Wing, can fly between <laughs> its legs. And even as a kid, I was like, it's all make believe. What who gives a crap? They can make a plane. You were like, of course he can. That's how he wrote it. I was like, exactly. They could have made special effects where there was a plane big enough to fly right through the at at. Who gives a crap? It's all BS. Why are you so fired up about it? And I remember she put it on, and we were just bored, mm. pissless before the end of the Battle of Hoth. And she, like most of my she was like almost mad at us <laughs> as kids. She's like, "You really, this is your you fault. really don't care about this." And I was like, "No, just put on the real Ghostbusters." Yeah, put on the Dennis the Menace cartoon and all see, these other things. You, well, even just Ghostbusters, that's something you could get behind. Oh yeah, just because of how outlandish it was. Like when you were a kid, I was like, when I was a kid. I could just tell. That was funny. I didn't know what was going on, but it was more exciting than, I don't know, watch Star Wars. Well, it had Slimer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think Slimer. that's really the big pull. I was going to say that I would have like wanted as a kid to do the, uh, who was their secretary? Uh, Looked like Tommy Pickle's mom, kind of. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, no, I, I, yeah. But as a kid, I wouldn't have gone that way. In, as an adult, you Absolutely. look at that bra and you're like, oh, she's, you know a, she's, a she's... Annie Potts? She's down for the AP, and I'm not talking about Associated Press. Brenda Brett First says Annie Potts. Is ass. Annie Potts. I trust Brenda I Brett. I totally trust Brenda Brett. She knows that junk. So Annie yeah. Potts, yeah. She's on top of it. As an adult, you, you look at Annie Potts for two seconds, and you know that is a dirty one. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh, yeah. So but I, I still prefer cartoons. Thanks for, thanks for putting that back on. Over. Oh, yeah, I got my beard back on. Well, Don't I mean, worry, everybody's safe. That's because you're a stunted human being. But <laughs> when you're a kid, it's totally cool to prefer them no, I, mm, to Star Wars. I just, I never dug yeah. Star Wars. It makes for good boyfriend material. When people got older and like the prequels came out and everyone's like, oh my God, it's a new national holiday. I was like, ah, I'll check it like a week later. Did you watch the prequels? I saw them all in the theater, but like always like a week after. I because did as well. Because like. The last thing I wanted on Earth is to sit there with some jagoff who's waving a lightsaber the whole time, <laughs> and it's like the eighth time he's seen it. Yeah, I don't. Two days after it came out, and he's quoting the movie back. I don't need any of that. To be junk. honest, lately I think maybe in the past couple of years, yeah, I don't really do uh, Night of anymore because I'm just oh, like for that I kind really, of thing? Wa- Are I you really, kidding me? I really want to enjoy the movie, and I, I feel like somebody's gonna f it up, dude. With the little. It, no one would. Sh- People are rude as hell <laughs> nowadays with movies they don't care about. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh my, are the amount of talking? It's going to be like a Friday the Thirteenth movie playing in Compton. It, <laughs> you will not be able to concentrate whatsoever. <laughs> Love seeing you in this. Girl, bed. get out of there. Trying to. Th- oh god, what you look like, Christian Bale in. What movie was he like wearing a thick beard? I don't know. Maybe that Rescue Dawn or some crap. Oh, Rescue, yeah, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Rescue Dawn, actually. I think that's it. Look at me remembering stuff. The Red? No. Directed by Werner Herzog. Mm-hmm. I think I got another point there. Werner? I think I got another point. Absolutely. Yeah, I just, I don't 
get the damn Star Wars thing. Like I wasn't I wasn't raised in it. They're good films. You know what else is yeah, like, great? Like I get the Godfather thing. I love quoting the Godfather. I get the Goodfellas thing. Mm-hmm. I'll quote Goodfellas backwards and forwards. He's gone. And there's nothing we could do about it. I'll quote you Scarface. These are things I get. But to watch like the original, what, four, five, and six, mm-hmm. the Star Wars, don't get it, man. I'm sorry. I'm not saying like. That's fine. I'll watch them. I appreciate them. I don't get the guys that have watched it like 20 times. It's just grow up. Mm-hmm. Grow up. Touch a tit. They're awesome. T- They're so good. Really? Do good. That Try instead. tits. I mean, if, yeah, I, I can't recommend them. I can't enough. argue that at all. I mean, I'm kind of like. The one thing I'll say about the new one coming out. Yeah. It has something like a 98 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like Schindler's List with lightsabers right now on Rotten Tomatoes. It is killing. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll get pumped for anything that has a 98. Toy Story 3 had a 98. And I was like, you know <laughs> what? I'll, I'll watch the living hell out of Toy Story 3. That's so funny. at a 98, screw it. I'm all in. And I really wasn't expecting it. To be that good because J.J. Abrams broke my goddamn heart with his crap new Whoa. Star Trek films. Oh, oh, did I did I wake up the big dog? Did I poke a stick inside of the hibernating bear? No, is quite. this something you'll you'll fight me over? Finally, mm, no. are we going to have some sort of conflict on this show? Not quite. Instead of you, but no, I really did like the I like the original uh, the first Star Trek, Star Trek movie that he did. No, I'm they both eating this beer. stank. They both stank, <laughs> especially the second one. Why the hell was Khan even there, other than like a cool nod to the audience? Well, yeah. No, I... they both sucked. They both sucked. They were the antithesis of everything that Star Trek is. You know what Star you know Trek what, is? What? I'm not a big Star Trek fan. I got into so it maybe later that's... in life. I think I'm going to go down this avenue. I think Star Trek S's on Star Wars. When I was a kid... When I was a kid, mm-hmm. and I had a dumb kid brain, and all I could understand was good versus bad, I liked my Star Wars, and Star Trek was a little wordy for me and a little complex. And now that I'm older, and Switch I have roof. an old dumb little kid brain, big time, big time on board with Star Trek instead. It's all about the nuances, the grays in life. There's a lot of getting the plowing some. of random aliens. A lot of aliens. getting some. Yeah. James Tiberius Kirk gets so much space <laughs> pee. There's no sex. No sex. You know what, though? In uh, Star Wars. Brandon Brent says J.J. Uh, Abrams made her like Star Trek. I mean, like, it got some people into it because it gave mm-hmm. you this, like, softball version of Star Trek. But Star Trek, to me, is like fat James T. Kirk. Mm-hmm. In his jumpsuit, and then skinny old DeForest Kelly and Leonard Nimoy in theirs, and they're just jawing back and forth to each other. And it's like you've got the completely logical Spock on one shoulder of James T. Kirk, and you've got the completely passionate Bones on the other. And they're just, yeah. just two devils rapping in his ear, and the whole show is like, which way does James T. Kirk go today? And usually the way he goes is between some space chick's legs. Lots but, of innuendos, yeah. Yeah. But after that, he, he, you know, does something. Oh, you're holding your thumb up. What? what you're like a Roman emperor that was deciding Brent. that they're going to live. Just, oh, she gave him a thumbs up? Yeah. But you can't see anything because I'm, I'm literally I like hiding behind way, every mic in this room. I like it way, way more than Star Wars. Star Wars is just dumb old galactic good versus evil <laughs> Flash Gordon BS. Star Trek got nuance, man. Flash Gordon was fun, too. <sighs> Get out of here. <laughs> Star Trek. Yeah, it's a little straightforward. Star Trek has like flavor. I can get behind, and they weren't afraid to make a crap movie too. Yeah, I also like that. Like every Star Wars, <laughs> holy god, dissected to death. Star Trek Six, no one even cared. They were just crapping them out at that point. They were happy to make like twenty mil in the theater and call it a day. Yeah, I respect that. I don't like any movie that's too revered. They okay, like, you took we don't have to make any new sets. But yeah, man, Star Trek all the way. I'm watching that Star Wars from forty years ago. I'm catching it Sunday night on the IMAX in DC, but I'm only doing that preemptively. I am 
only doing it so that it's not going to be spoiled for me. Because I know there's spoiler-worthy junk in that new one. Like, they still haven't shown what the hell Luke Skywalker is in it. Or, I'm sorry, Mark exactly. Hamill. Exactly. He's mentioned it. He's, like, near the top of the list of actors or some oh, junk. Oh, is he of top billing? He's, yeah, man. He's he's way up there. It isn't, like, and Mark Hamill. It's, like, Mark Hamill, Han Solo, all them junks. Big selling point. I mean, of course. But they haven't shown him in the preview. That was almost Cosby-esque. <laughs> but they the haven't shown him the in the preview. Now, my son, Ennis, <laughs> who is the light of my life... This blue snot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <coughs> oh, that's not. All right, Abe Lincoln. <laughs> so, <laughs> you completely this is like kindergarten. Why Abe is that Lincoln. beard still on? It's, it's really distracting. But funny. I guess it's it's a great radio. It's gag. physical comedy. <laughs> <laughs> complete. You have found just the <laughs> best home for it. So uh, radio. Where the hell was I even yabbling about? Uh, something about Mark Hamill having top billing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't know what the hell Luke is in yeah. it. Like, is he just in, like, a flashback scene where they show, like, Han Solo and Luke out bird-dogging some box? Mm -hmm. We don't know. <laughs> just in the Millennium Falcon, an old cruising Kirk. for it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really know. Maybe he's, like, the, the evil guy of the whole damn thing. Very well could be. That's what Brenda thinks. All I know is that you got about three days before people think it's open season to spoil oh, away. Oh, yeah. By so, this weekend, you're done Sunday for. night. Yeah, Sunday Stay night I'm chancing social. it. If you never... Yeah, and you, that's really close. That's still cutting it close. Yeah, oh, Monday. Saturday. Monday I, at the water cooler, as they say. You're screwed. I, I think Saturday night when people start drinking. Oh, God. It's over. Right. Oh, just some... It's over. Just some yeah. fat AH you're partying with is yeah. like, hey, everybody. Well, they're probably drinking at the theater. Luke bangs yeah. an Ewok. <laughs> was like, well, this is probably my own experience. They're probably drinking at the theater, mm -hmm. got hammered drunk by the end of the movie, and then just blurted out spoilers when they got home. Oh, and they're just going to live tweet it. Maybe yep. even worse. In the theater. So as much as I don't really give a damn, I got a friend coming into town who like lives for this crap. Like He's one of those guys that is just so into it. You told me. So into it. And he's like, so what are our plans for the movie? He's got a bunch of... And I was like, I don't know. Watch really it like cool hobbies. Monday at 1 p.m. so I can see it in peace? I don't know what to do. <laughs> That'd and be he awesome. Was like, We're watching it this weekend, so help me God. And so we went... You know, once he said that, I was like, he's right. Something's going to get spoiled. It's got a... What's his name? Adam Driver? The guy who plays Hannah Horvath's... Yeah, Adam Driver. Uh, yeah, Adam Driver. I don't like him. on girls. A he has a scary actor. rat man face. He does. He looks very weird. I don't dislike him as an actor i only know him from girls he's been in a couple other things i know he's like in this is where i, I leave you the name i'm trying to see like how huge he's going to get based on this do you think this is going to launch like a million careers do you think uh who doesn't already have a career besides all, i think all the, the young girl kids. right well no um john boyega i'm well, like I think John Boyega is... I'm sorry, you mean Black Stormtrooper guy? Yeah, Black... Okay, I think you. Black Stormtrooper. Uh -huh. um, sorry, if you've ever dude, seen, I don't, I don't you've see seen color. Attack, Just call him the Stormtrooper. Thanks. Thanks, John. Uh -huh. Set up. Um, have, you, have you seen Attack the Block? Cause what? It's awesome. Attack yeah. of the Block? Attack the Block. Attack the Block? Yeah. That sounds like really... It's, is, um, it, is it about a riot? I'm not profiling, but is Attack the Block no, about a it's riot not. with looting? It's uh, it's it's about aliens attack attacking the, the block. block. Attack of the block or attack nope, the block? Attack the block. Okay, attack the block. I've not seen it. John John Bodega is in this. John Boyega. Okay. Yeah, what and I that's. Said? I mean, that's what. Yeah, that's exactly what you said. Um, I'm trying to remember what the hell. Oh, no, I thought it was directed by... I, I do not Joe know Cornish, who this dude is. And then there's Anyways, the... I suggest that everybody sees it. It's a really good really good movie. Oh, you just suggested right now. You have mm -hmm. never mentioned this film whatsoever outside of this See studio. it tonight Uh huh. so that you can get a taste of the actor. I think that he's good. Sure, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right. seeing him Sunday night. There's the girl. I don't know who the, the little white broad is. There's a uh, who the hell else? And I guess Adam Driver. Those are like the three unknowns for the film. And then, yeah, I guess so. All right. Are are you like really active with the uh, the Periscope? Are we getting a lot of Periscope love? 
uh, here and there. I was actually I'm just watching you type. I know. I was. I was getting. Uh, I was looking at some movie stuff. I was actually sorry. I was doing my grocery list. You piece of crap. I'm sorry. Right. I have to do Christmas shopping. It's okay. You you Christmas shop at the grocer. <sighs> eggs. I was Who making a list. Need Who eggs? doesn't need eggs? Remember, I was gonna buy them for the fridge here. So how do you feel about it? The movie? Yeah, like what are your plans for it? I actually don't have plans for it, and I'm embarrassed to tell anybody that. But Well, especially our audience. I think like anyone listening to this cares way more about the, the Star Wars than we do. Probably. I think so. I mean, I'm, like I said, I really didn't make any plans to watch the movie. All right, take that beard off I for can't, the rest of the show. I know, I'm eating it, and I'm breathing into it, Just, and I'll tell you right now, it doesn't smell great. You, you might as well have a sparkler up your prick the way you're distracting me right now. Like, with the beard and the texting. <laughs> that's that's the 4th of July special. Eyes right here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you, you don't contract and press it out we no. just let it burn all and the way down you have one that's already going and you light mine mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we kind of like lightsaber fight with them going exactly <laughs> so he was last the longest and then a special listener gets to cut our urethras back open after oh, they're god. cauterized god no is that is that is that the one that that's broke the camel's too back far. all right <laughs> all righty uh yeah i don't know man we do you want to talk about some real entertainment something that is guaranteed not to disappoint titty show well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, that's <laughs> you said two great words. Uh, what's the context exactly? Are we to provide it? No, Do I, I mean, have to get shirtless. Uh, you, you said I was just suggesting what you were probably going to talk about. Uh, titty oh, wait. show. You did say titty show, not TV show. No, titty show. Yeah. Okay, titty show. Yeah. Um, probably need to bleep. Is that, that not where lot. you were going? I was going to say that Showtime show that you caught. My roommate watching when you oh, came over a couple days ago, yeah. Seven Deadly Sins. You guys sins. really threw me for a loop there. It was a bit of a titty show. That was. Oh, God. If yes, you guys... If, we could get into that. Yeah, it, it's something to watch not at all related to Star Trek. Mm-mm. If this were the beginning of the show and I wasn't Mm-mm. holding in a massive leak, I'd like try to segue that into some joke or something, yeah. but... No, it's not Star Trek related, Star Wars related. Nope. But it is something great if you have the Showtime Anytime app or whatever the hell. If you get Showtime. If you get Showtime. I believe it's only seven episodes. It's called, what, Seven Deadly Sins, Makes right? Makes sense. And it's hosted by Morgan Spurlock, but don't hold that against the show. Because he is weird and he's very abrasive when he talks to you. I don't like it. I hate him in ways I don't hate many people. I, don't, I just he, can't. And I should love him because he looks like Johnny Cakes from <laughs> Sopranos, the guy that mm-hmm. uh, gave it to Vito <coughs> in the old What's It, Give What's It. it? Vito. But uh, watch it in spite of him. Mm-hmm. And there's an episode. Was it the last episode, I guess? Mm-hmm. It had to be, right? Yeah, I think it was Lost and episode. And there's like three different kind of stories they in did this the, Lost episode. They did the Kitty Ranch. That's right. I think everybody and not like a place where you that, go right? to pet kitty. Not, yeah, it's not like a kitten cafe. No, which where you're not allowed, cool I believe, to pick up the cats. So what the hell? What the hell? In Wait, the, that's for real? At the at like the kitten place, you're just like if the cat DC, comes up to you, you can just pet it. I think you can't pick it up and put it on your lap. This is exactly is, like a strip club. It really this is, is bull crap. It really is. I love both those things. So. There's a segment there, but the segment that like really creeped the hell out of me and Pete, and that my roommate had already watched once, and then put it Again? back on just to spite like, us. You're gonna love this part. Was this dude, who apparently has a huge ham, by the way, because one of his paramours made sure to mention ham that bone. this dude who was like into older women, and at first they really don't get into just how much older. No, he's thirty. In fact, they ease you into it. Yeah, he's 30, 35, much like he has to ease himself into his partners based mm-hmm. on his girth. He's like 30 or 35, and they cut to, at first, a woman who's 67. And you're like, you know what? She's a spry 67. She did. She she showed uh, much virility. She oh, she, she looked 10 years younger. Yeah, she, she was, was good. holding it together. Yeah, she was fine. Then they cut to a partner of his that I believe was 80. And you're like, okay, maybe eighty. This is where you've lost me, but I'll see oh, where this totally is going. Totally lost. And then they cut to a chick that this guy is going, and mind you, they're all knowledge knowledgeable of each other. Is that what I'm looking? For? They all know. They all know of that each he's other. He's making the rounds. Yeah, he's just the ice cream man. 
going house to house, <laughs> laying pipe. Mm-hmm. And they cut to the third one, a 91-year-old woman who... I, was it 91? It was like 93. I believe she was 91, but you know what? For the sake of making it really gross, 93. 93. What the heck? Ugh. It looked like not even a grandma, but a great-grandma just wouldn't shut up about she didn't care anymore. She's like, everyone yeah. I know is dead. Uh. They don't know what keeps me alive. It almost sounded like a vampire talking, actually. She's oh, yeah. like, I've outlived everyone. They don't know my secrets to staying here. Yeah, that's that's exactly what she said. She's like, nobody I know is still alive. She, I believe, pops out her dentures, which then segues back to the young guy talking about how that was like the the pinnacle. That was hot. Yeah, that, that was, was the like, best. If you could if get it was them really to you good... know what without their teeth in, it didn't get any better. Oh, my God. And it was maybe this show, I'm not exaggerating, probably the most grossed out I've been watching anything. And I've watched like the Mr. Hands video. I watched Two Girls, One Cup. Like I gird myself for that. And that's just pure shock value. So you can just look at it. It's like faces of death. You're just like, ah, whatever. I'm watching something horrible, but it's like horrible for the sake of being horrible. So you know what? To prove I'm Mr. Tough Guy, whatever. I'll keep watching. But this tries to like tell the story and you see the human side of these people and it's their humanity that makes it so disgusting. You know what though? So I wasn't, wrong. I wasn't, I wasn't going to judge them, but they just kept pushing the envelope and with what they wanted to tell you or, you know, or what the uh, producers so of the show detail. wanted you and to like, hear. It showed him tongue in these old broads and oh, stuff. Oh yeah. It was horrible. And then there's the so other in, episode on gluttony. But well, no, here's yeah, the thing. Go. So in one segment, the, uh. So the 67-year-old lady still um, keeps it pretty tasteful, I guess. Oh, she, she was, was the most she was, demure of the bunch She by was like, far. okay, yeah, we have sex. Yeah, it's not a big deal. She was she even, was, she, they were like, she, she do you mention, want me to go into details? Her, and she just blushes. And I'm yeah. like, oh, thank you, sister. Thank you for that sliver of mercy. Yeah, her biggest, um, I guess, like, kind of gross thing that she said was like, I didn't know he was going to fit. Yeah. Okay. And again, how angry are you that a guy who's, let's be honest, just misusing it, he might as well just be throwing it down a well for all the good it's doing humanity. (laughs) How mad are you that he gets to pack one and you and I are just sitting here like, uh, what about us? Thanks a lot, dude. Just cut it down the middle. Give it each one of like a half. Give it to I'm the sh- needy. I'm sure it'll still be an improvement <laughs> on what I got. And instead, he's he's just rocking this thermos, wailing, this ghost wailing thermos. his way through the nursing home. Yeah, and it was just. And then the second one came in, and she had to one upper. So she's going, well, you know, I, I started this thing. I I think I had sex with some other younger guys. And then I realized I didn't want just one young guy. I forgot. The I needed the second one. multiple young guys. So didn't they refer to her pre- as the gang? So queen? Sh- 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 oh, she proceeds to sorry, lift. I spoiled Star she Wars. proceeds to lift up her shirt, pull her titty out of her socks. Uh, you lift it up got, so we can see it, dude. I forgot all. And this. around the nipple I says "Gangbang Queen." I forgot all this. And like she said, she got that like three years ago or something like oh, that. And she was like, "You're making me remember." Oh, you're making me remember. And then the 92 year old, and here's where it gets really sweet. Oh Jesus! She says to the guy, "I think it's their first time or something." She's like, you know, she does the whole thing. She's like, he's. She she runs a whole gamut of what everybody's already said. She's like, he's big. We do gangbangs. And then he was like, yo, you need lube. And she was like, oh, I'm, I make my own lube. And she was like, still at 93, I make my own lube. And she was like, oh, yeah, just, like oh, when you're 93 uh, and you get wet, does your skin actually you turn sure? to dust? Are you sure? Like when any amount of moisture at age 93 goes anywhere what else is. yeah like your skin must look like the paper of the dead sea scrolls it's just parchment. also one of them and i can't remember said uh i don't know if you know what this is but he makes me squirt that was the gang oh thing. my god i remember oh it was so fantastic oh god 
I couldn't stop laughing. No. You were sick to your stomach. I am again just hearing about it. Like, I had, <coughs> I would say forgotten, but I had suppressed so much of it. Why did I bring it up? I Because it's funny. It so it's bad. funny and people should watch it. I mean, that whole thing is if just, you can it's watch wild. It, it's, it's insane. It, there's an episode on gluttony with a chick that's like, yeah, not even just that episode. 800 all of pounds, them. and her boyfriend's just into feeding her. The and heart attack shack or something. And feeding him. And feeding him. <laughs> M-E-T-H. Okay. Deep, man. Uh, well, I think we can go because I have to really piss. We should go. Speaking of seven that deadly song. sins, I think the eighth is pissing on the studio chair. <laughs> or it's at least what we call a frowned upon. Everyone who made it here, thank you. We appreciate it. This is Papa's Basement. I'm John Papa Giorgio. He's Pete Maybe. Mm-hmm. At Pete Maybe on Twitter for That's me. That's correct. At Papa's Basement on Twitter for him. We did the <laughs> old switcheroo. You didn't see that coming. Gotcha. In PapasBasement.com for every episode of the show we've ever done. Find us on iTunes. Subscribe. Leave a rating. Uh, it helps. Get your friends to leave ratings. What is the old saying? Tell two friends. Not just one because that one friend of yours shuts his mouth and don't tell just, nobody. I know. That guy's and it a does jerk. us no good. So tell twosies. Just, just everyone hears the show and they're like, it's Shout so from dirty. The rooftops. It's so dirty. Who am I going to tell about it? You know what? Your friends, they're closet freaks, man. They, they want to hear this crap. And if they don't want to hear it... Don't and if they aren't now, they're going to be in their they're 80s. Worthless. They're they're uh, Yeah. They make their own moisture. <laughs> All right. Till the next one. We're out of here. Merry Christmas. Moisture. We're home free. School's out, baby. Good show. Nothing to talk about. Nothing to critique. Great show. Great guest tomorrow. You go home, have a glass of wine, whack off. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the post-show critique? Yeah. You're the best. It's my time to go. I successfully burned all my bridges. Nobody loves me and I don't love nobody. (laughs) (laughs) Then he said penis. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Then he said masturbation. (laughs) Then he said vagina. (laughs) That was cool. Had a mighty hard time, but I'm on my way. Had a mighty hard time. But I'm on my way. It's a mighty hard climb.